So we're going to be playing some Ease Origin. Um, I went with this one because I kind of wanted to play Ease 2, but it was so much like Ease 1, I don't think you could tell any difference. And this kind of gives all the backstory and stuff to Ease 1, but in a way more up-to-date game. And they say this is like the best Ease in a lot of people's opinions. So we're going to have some fun with this. Um, let's see here. What do we got? Yeah, that looks good. We'll keep it. Ah, I can choose. It looks like there's a third character down there, but I can't pick his ass. Let's hope you don't forget ease one then. What do you mean, Recky? Recky, you're the reason that I'm playing this, actually. You may not know it. I went and deleted the comment. Um, I I was this close to playing Grandia 2 on stream. Because I know that that's fucking legit R RPG. That shit will not put me to sleep. I don't know, I was kind of watching the video for this and it seems like it's a direct explanation of Ease 1. A lot of the stuff in it's similar. And it didn't really seem like it went past Ease 2. So hopefully, hopefully won't spoil anything there. I don't know which one to go with. Axe wielding fighter, mid speed, mid range. Energy firing mage, slow speed, long range. Nah, we're fucking brawlers. Oh, I was asking you um, earlier if um, you were cool with me spoiling Grandia 2 for you. Because I knew I know you haven't played it and it's on your list, but... I seen this and I thought, ah, this will work. Yeah, Fiona, we went back to Ease. This one's supposed to take place right after, or like six or seven hundred years before Ease 1. But they're still closely related, so... Daddy. Il avait un grand pays légendaire. I kind of like the 4 3 ratio games too. I like my stream layout this way. The modern games with me floating over it kind of bothers me. Ease. You heard it. You heard it. Ease. Sur l'intervention des dias jumelles et des systems. Oh, maybe so, Ricky. Les dias avaient un trésor précieux, la perle noire. Elle avait des sorts Black Pearl, okay. Avec la magie, on pouvait faire des miracles. Avec l'éclairia. Had better stories anyway. Silver metal called Claria. So that confirms from Ease 1 that Claria was silver. This chick's speaking French? That doesn't sound Japanese. Beaucoup de monstres démoniques sont apparus. Et on commençait à envahir Ease. Les forces diaboliques ont tout fait de ravager mm. la terre. Mais tous les habitants. It's French 100%. We got the French wife who's up in here, man. Oh my god, it's B Tech. B Tech, brother. How are you doing tonight? Yeah, we still got power. We've had a bunch of blackouts all day long. But. It's just starting to snow again, and we're supposed to get like another shit. 
Five or six inches, something like that. I've had power this whole time. Man, it sounds like Texas has it really bad right now. I'm kind of happy I'm north of there. <laughs> oh, it's down a reactor? Damn. I probably will, Ricky. I'm not too worried about it. Honestly, looking at the newer Ease games, they, they look really good to the point that I'm like, ah, fuck that old shit. I want to play some of this new shit. <laughs> um, or newer shit. I guess this is like fucking 14 years old at this point, 15 years old. Oh, waifu, waifu. Music sounds similar to the first one. So, Rick, I didn't realize this. Apparently, this this company that makes the Ease games, uh, Falcom, I think is what it is, they kind of came up with JRPGs. Like, they are the originator of JRPGs. I did not know this. And they've got a series called uh, Trials of Blade, I think is what it's called. That's like Final Fantasy tier long, like that many installments. And they've always been on PC. And they were only released in Japan on PC. So a lot of the, the console gamers never really found them. But now they're getting released on Steam and the ratings are just like through the roof. Who ordered all this anime titty? That fat fucking newsreader ordered all that anime titty. No, not Legend of Heroes. Or wait, is it Legend of Heroes? Maybe I'm getting confused. I think you might be right. Maybe it is Legend of Heroes and not uh, Trials of Blade. I was looking at several of them tonight, so. Legend of Heroes, okay. We were almost going to be playing that tonight. There's one of them that looked pretty good. But I, I'm still kind of in the hack and slash mood. I liked these one a lot. Yeah, I think it was Trials in the Sky was the big one that I was looking at. And I, I was a little worried about putting it on stream because they said there's like some incest content. Um, oh, Rhythmic, he's in there fucking shredding. My whole life, I've never been able to use magic. But I made a promise long ago. I promised I would become a knight. You hear it's really good? I told myself I would guard those two of my life just as my dad did. Please, Dad, watch over me. I swear I'll become a holy knight and keep our ladies Rhea and Fina from harm. Oh, another Fina. This one's in 3D. Relax. My video card can handle it. Oof. So we're starting the game out Twitch friendly. Where, where am I? Let's see. Ow, my butt. This fucking made for Twitch. Okay, focus, focus. I joined up with the search party heading down to the surface. And then what? I remember there was a sudden impact like we hit something or something hit us. 
Wait, is that? It's O Tree, bro. Give us that silver sword. The Rota Tree. It is. It's really you, Rota Tree. You survived. You finally awoken. You seem familiar to me. A friend of the goddesses, are you not? I am. The name's Unica. Unica Tova. Tova. Was that a name from the the first one? Seems familiar. Yes, I remember now. You are Priest Tova's granddaughter. Oh, they had one of the books of ease was named Tova. Well, yes, I am, but I don't really take after him all that much. I can't even use magic. You're the elder Rota Tree, right? How's your younger brother? Is he all right? Yes, yes, he's fine. In fact, he's been my sole conversation partner all this time. I was starting to get rather boring down here, or it was starting to. I'll bet you always were quite the chatterbox. I must admit, when the shrine ascended, I found myself worrying about you too. I'm really glad you're both okay. The goddesses gave us life, and they maintain our lives as well. These noxious fumes will not sever our bonds with them so easily. But you, a Tova. When was it? I beheld a man with one companion in tow, surrounded by a horde of demons. Am I correct in assuming then that he too was of the Tova lineage? Yeah, that was my dad. He stayed behind on the surface and bought us some time to raise Solomon's shrine. My grandpa says he couldn't have survived down here. I felt his essence disappear into the miasma. Which is not to say I witnessed his death, but I can hardly doubt his fate. So I guess Grandpa was right. Well, then I guess the book is closed on him, so now it's his daughter's time to shine. Oh, do you seek something from this ruined land then? Yes, we've come down to the surface in search of Our Ladies Rhea and Fina. I'm guessing Rhea and Fina are the goddesses. Yeah, I think in the first Ease game, the books of Ease were named after all the sages, the six sages, because there were six books of Ease as well. So it sounds like this chick is probably a descendant of one of the sages that just escaped or just lifted this fucking Solomon temple up. A few days ago, the two of them vanished from the shrine, and no one's seen or heard from them since. I did catch sight of the goddesses. It was perhaps three days ago? You you saw them? So Father Shion was right. Or Shion? Shion? Father Shion, probably. They really did come to the surface. Did you see where they went? You see that tower at the foot of Mount Precious? That horrifying tower built to bridge this ruined land with Solomon's shrine up above. Oh, I know that fucking cocksucker of a tower. Though it is weak, I sense the essence of both goddesses in that place. What? They're in the tower? Why didn't you stop them? I'm a fucking tree. They sought the tower of their own volition. I saw no reason to intervene. But you know what that tower represents. Wait, they are not alone. I sense others in and around its perimeter. Your companions, I believe. Huh? Which companions? Who's over there? So, you will go to them? I will. I need to meet up with the others right away, so we can bring our stray goddesses back home. You must be... such a dangerous... outside world. Hmm... Fucking curse of the Deku Tree got him, boys. Gotta go in there and kill a spider. Rhoda, speak to me. Say something. Guess the gases are starting to flare up. Oh, first one, Recky. Gases is spelled incorrectly. With no magic of my own to fall back on, I'm afraid I just can't hear your voice anymore, old friend. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina.
Too spooky. I wonder if that little tower off to the side is that same tower off to the side um, in Ease 1. Where you find the chick with the uh, silver harmonica. It is. With the evil door, yeah, you had to use the evil ring to get into it. This doesn't feel right. Shouldn't there be more demons guarding the entrance? Died. You weren't close enough? See, I never could figure out the ring. It seemed like it, it was either just fucking immediately killing me or just slowly killing me. Dude, even though the last boss on that game was complete and utter bullshit, and the game was simple as fuck, I really enjoyed that game. I had a lot of fun with it. I, I really hope that this game is in that tier. I suppose we should have expected this, considering where we are. Okay, there's Shion or Shion. If only we had some of the others with us, we'd be on more even footing. We'll put up a barrier and try to hold it for as long as possible. Yeah, I'm saving that, that Ease 2 I'm saving for between games. But I feel like Ease 1 just kind of whet my appetite a little bit for an entire new Ease like modern days so we're gonna handle this we'll go play some other shit and then we'll slip these two in somewhere else down the road hey abby abby you'll be pleased to know i will not be playing celeste tonight we're playing some uh ease origin that should buy you some time to take out the demons on that side fewer demons means better odds right if I must take up arms, then so be it. Memories of Celsetta? I have no idea, Ricky. The the only Ease games I've played were three for SNES. Um, Arkham to Pishtum, I think is what it was called. I seen it on Steam. It, it was on GameCube when I beat it. And I remember it being a great game. I really enjoyed it. And now I beat Ease 1 and starting this one, so... You want a physical copy of this for PS4? Have you played this one, Abby? Apprentice Knight Unica Tova at your service. Much obliged. Do what you can with these beasts, if you'd please. We'd take care. We'll take care of the demons in the room, room's periphery. Understood. Dino, Aeolia, come on, bitches. Ooh, we got waifu. She's one of those silver hair fancy waifus. You rotten creatures have turned all our lives upside down and taken my dad away from me. So don't expect me to hold back. Okay. So they give me the instructions and keyboard controls. Fuck. Ease 8 is praised too, but don't want to spend too much money. Yeah, I mean, these older Ease games are great. It's not like you're... I mean, I guess you get better graphics, but even the newer games are just fucking anime graphics. So it's not like it's that huge of an increase. Yeah, they do release games names all over the place, don't they? So we can attack, jump, jump slash, lunge, up thrust, down thrust. Get my control straight here. Oh yeah, that's my kind of game right now. I like this. What is boost mode? How is it used? Activation. 
When boost gauge re reaches 100%, press the boost key to activate boost mode. Skills will cost half as much MP to use and will pack a greater punch. Unica will only take half damage when hit by enemies. Okay. Alright, found it. Can I exit it? Oh, what's that? Is that EXP or something? <laughs> East Prolapse Butthole. <laughs> Nicely done. Father Superior, and you two are, um... Heh, <laughs> guess there wasn't much time for introductions. Now was there? I'm Dino, an acolyte of Solomon Shrine. And I'm his colleague, Aeolia. I'm Unica Tova. It's nice to meet you both. Have you looked at them on Steam, Abby? Seems like there's a shit ton of them on Steam. For cheap. Tova, any relation to Commander Saul Tova? Oh, yes, I'm his daughter. You live up to your heritage, then. Your fighting style is gallant and graceful. Were I to wield a battle axe of that size, well, suffice it to say I'd have a hard time keeping my balance, let alone hitting anything. You don't do digital? Bah! I've ascended past that nostalgia. Well, you, I see, can't use, or, well, you see, I can't use magic. So my strength is really all I have. Ah, I see. This young lady was kind enough to volunteer her services in search of our runaway deities. So I suggest we put forth our best effort to find them, for their sakes, for ours, and for the commanders as well. Father Superior, thank you so much. But where are the other knights and the sorcerers? Aren't they with you? I'm afraid not. Just as the surface came in sight, our transport spell was disrupted by some outside force, intentionally, as best I, as I can tell. Was that the impact I felt then? It was, and whatever hit us, it blocked out all ability to control the transport, resulting in a breakdown of the entire enchantment. We were scattered in all directions and hurled down to the surface quite unceremoniously, though it could have been much worse. Were it not for our individual barriers, the fall alone surely would have been fatal. Whatever force knocked us from the sky originated from this tower, so we've come to determine who's responsible and for what reason. That doesn't explain why you're here though, Unica, and all alone no less. Uh, well, about that. Unica recounted her conversation with the Rototree regarding the whereabouts of the goddesses. Could that really be true? Why would they come to such a dreadful place? I can't even begin to imagine. Father, we must find them at once. Indeed, there is no time to lose. Sadly, even with our powers pooled, our fighting skills are no match for the denizens of this wicked place. We need to reassemble the search party before we can begin in earnest. Of course, you're absolutely right. May I entrust this task to you, Dino? Yes, Father. Thank you. Using the road of trees as a base, I'll search the area via transport spell and round up everyone I can find. This bro just fucking warps wherever he goes. As for you, young lady. Yes, Father Spear? There's no guarantee that a situation similar to the one we've just experienced won't recur. I'd like for you to remain here with us until the rest of our party arrives, keeping a watchful eye for any more uninvited guests. Oh, okay. Is something wrong? Uh, well, I was kind of hoping you might let me do a little recon, just in the immediate area, of course. Not too far away or anything. I'd like to get in some combat training, so I don't let down my guard if the situation gets critical. I mean, I'm just an apprentice knight, and with no magic ability, no magic ability whatsoever, well, I'm just kind of worried I'll get in the way, you know? Hmm, admittedly your reasoning is sound, but it, I would be remiss to blindly offer consent, knowing the risks. Well, we need to learn more about this tower anyway, don't we? I mean, we barely know anything about it. Come on, please. I'm up to it. I know I am. Very well. 
I shall personally explain the situation to Sir Galleon upon his arrival. Seriously? Thank you. Thank you so very much. I will go get myself killed now. <clears throat> there is one condition, however. I must insist that you take this with you. Crystal. Hey, it's the same blue crystal from... Uh, what did that do? That highlighted or made the, the statues warp you around, wasn't it? What's this? Come over here, please. I'll show you. Yeah, it's the same blue crystal that helped you with the uh, statues in the first dungeon. It's a statue of a monster. How twisted. Just watch. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Wow, just like that. It's a goddess statue. But how? The best way to explain it would be to say that it's been returned to its original natural form. When Ease ascended, several goddess statues were left behind on the surface. It seems the demons must have found one, brought it here, and changed it. Though to what end, I cannot say. Oh. Lady Rhea, La Lady Fina. I'm sorry I said you were twisted. I didn't recognize you like that. I think it's safe to assume that other goddess statues have been brought here as well, and have likely met with a similar fate. Thus, the crystal. If you're to scout the tower, you may well encounter the other statues and purify them just as I did this one. All right, sounds easy enough. What kind of, it's kind of like a portable blessing. Ah, but that's not all, it has another function as well. It can magically transport you to any purified goddess statue within the tower in the blink of an eye. Thank you, God. Game's giving me teleport from the very start. And the object itself is enchanted with this ability, so no magic will be required on your part. Sounds like a lifesaver. Again, thank you, Father Superior, for your blessing and for this crystal as well. Unica, I'd like you to take this with you too. Oh shit, more gifts. Lila shell. Okay, either this is new or we didn't get it in the first game. A shell? Another magical item. In this case, it serves as a communication device, allowing us to speak with one another across any distance. It's from Ease 2? Ah, okay. No matter where you may be, just talking to the shell. Unless I'm somehow indisposed, I'll hear you. If you should find yourself in need of any assistance, please don't hesitate to make use of it. I got me an apple eye shell, man. Neat. Thanks much. I'll take good care of it. Uh, before I go, Father Superior, Sister Aeolia. Yes, is there something else you need? I I know... <sighs> Guys, I know this seems fucking stupid, but there are times where I look at text and it just does not fucking make any sense to me. I know I kind of just stubbornly forced my way into the search party, and now I've actually managed to convince you to let me go off on my own. So I just wanted to say I won't let you down, I promise. Thanks for being so accommodating. I may not ever be as... Great a night as my dad was, but I'll do everything in my power to find our goddesses. You can count on me. I hope you'll be able to count on us, too. We're all in this together, you know. We'll be right here if you need us. Do, do not hesitate to return for any reason, and may the goddesses guide your path. Please, don't forget, if the situation becomes dire, use the power of the crystal. Let it bring you back to safety. I will, and may the goddesses guide your path as well. Yeah, I'm really bad about reading books and somehow skipping a line midway. And having, having to read it like three times, like, what the fuck is this person talking about? Oh, these are save points, too. D d what? Divine blessings? With cutoff numbers? Nice. There's a setting in the game for high-res text. I wonder if that's what's doing this. That's cool, though. Is that really how it's spelled? <laughs> so is there an equipment screen? It's not letting me pause or anything. <clears throat> you use the statue to level up equipment?
Oh, whoa, hold up, I hit it somehow. Oh, it's the right stick button, okay. All right, so we got axes. We've got armor. Oh no, we've got one axe, it looks like, and different skills, okay. We got armor, boots, accessories. Okay. Oh, interesting. So you can look up all this shit. All right. Bitch. Had a note system too. Yeah, I knew it was there, but I kind of stayed away from it. God knows I was doing enough reading. Help me when I got lost or couldn't recall an NPC. Why are games like this so fun? Just to run around and beat the shit out of stuff. Well, it pauses every now and then, but I'm watching on my mobile, on mobile data, I guess what isn't able to do the 900p. So, Bill, um, I dropped it down to 720, but I'm still doing 6,000 kilobit, so there's no difference in data amount. That's weird. I, I really do think you're getting throttled or some shit. No, I haven't, Fiona. Celset and Pana Panacea. Raises maximum HP? Uh, fuck yeah. Does your phone do it on um, normal data or on Wi Fi, Bill? I'm kind of torn playing games like that, Fiona, because I'm afraid it's going to go fuck up the original game. Does that make sense? Ooh, somebody finally drew first blood on me. Hey! I don't know how I did it, but I did. This looks like one of the holy artifacts of ease. But why would the demons have it? Acquired Cerulean Flabellum. A surge of power bursts forth from the artifact. Unica was granted to use the whirlwind skill. Artifacts of ease bestow magical or mystical skills upon their bearers. Activating skills will launch various special attacks. Consumes MP when used, okay. Certain skills can be used to negate magical traps or activate mechanisms, opening up new paths. Interesting, okay. Unica's whirlwind turns her into a deadly gliding gale. Huh. By activating the whirlwind during a jump, you can glide through the air, greatly increasing the distance covered. So, this is an actual movement skill too, huh? And I can charge it. Okay. Whoa, I had no idea there was so much power in this thing. 
It's not really magic like the sorcerer's cast, but I'm sh it's sure close enough for me. I'll take whatever I can get. What do you mean, Brig? So, I'm trying to think of a good example, Recky. Okay, I've got the perfect example. And this may piss some people off, but I fucking stand by my claim. Final Fantasy X. Not a bad Final Fantasy. Pretty good game. Final Fantasy X 2. Was that really necessary? Did it help the original game any? Negative. And I guess what I'm getting at too is that 10-2, for instance, I would say that that's definitely canon. You can't watch that and say, oh, well, it wasn't, you know, who cares? You can't ignore it. It's part of the story at that point. Yeah, and I was legit. Crisis Core? What about Crisis Core? I, I enjoyed the shit out of Crisis Core, but I would, I would say that it had that damaging effect. It added nothing to Final Fantasy VII for me, other than... I don't know. I don't know if it if it enhanced seven for me. Yeah. Whoa. Now, well, shit, I hope I don't spoil this for anybody. It's been out a while now. If you haven't played it by now, oh, well, can't help you. But with the way the seven Final Fantasy seven remake kind of splits off and diverges from the original game, um, I was kind of, I enjoyed that because now I, I feel like it didn't take away anything from the original game for me. It, it, at that point, they became separate games. I, there's a, a relation, I guess, but it doesn't really fuck with the original. I think it was a smart decision on Square's part. Yeah, yeah, there's there's that, and I feel like if you don't like it, well, it was a different timeline, whatever, you know? You, you see what I mean? And, and at that point, I was kind of happy to see them bring Zack into that at the end. You know, that makes me wonder, too, with Zack coming back, did he die at the end of Crisis Core? Or were we seeing Zack come back? He, he legitimately, truly died in the, at the end of Crisis Core, didn't he? He like, shot up and shit, right? Oh, fuck. This is gonna be tricky as fuck. <laughs> God. Huh? This is weird. Okay, you gotta tap it. If you hold it any, you're fucked. So these are the same enemies that were in the tower too, weren't they? I just recognized the yellow dude. Back to the original discussion though. I feel like sequels, especially sequels that are kind of I don't know, unplanned maybe, ones that came out because the original was such a hit. 
they they just can't leave some shit alone. Like they may bring back a character that was dead or somebody that died in a really amazing way in the first one, you know, and it just kind of fucking ruins it. Well, good example, Zack. But I, I feel like the reason they get by with it with Zack is nobody ever would really expect that they'd bring him back anyway. I feel like. Eep. What's happening? Where am I? It looks dip looks like a different room entirely. I guess that weird magic circle thing must have teleported me here. Hey, Dom, how's it going, man? Didn't think it would happen. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of surprised at that point too. The crystal's power purified the demon statue. Save. All right, let's try this um, accept divine blessing thing. Oh, it's been pretty good. We just uh, started streaming. Damn, it's already been 50 minutes? Fuck. Yeah, about an hour ago. Um, we fired up some E's. We, we beat the old classic version of this um, a while back, and it was really super short, and I, I kind of didn't get my fill, so we decided to do a newer one. Strength and current armor. Heal rate, reduce damage from terrain. Man, I wish I could see the price on these. I may have to off stream try turning the high res text off and see if it helps. Yeah. Your prayers have been answered. <laughs> I just got a Steam achievement, minimally exceptional. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. Does it... It just enhanced the body armor that I've got? Okay, I got gotcha. you. So did you fall for Three Cats Troll the other day, Dom? Or did you do the smart thing and not tune in? Minimally exceptional is an achievable goal. Yeah. There's a peculiar... Peculiarly, blah, blah, I can't say this word. <laughs> Depression in the altar. All right, let's find this thing that they want me to find. Ah, this was the door. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got me good, Dom. I'm never going back there, Dom. Never. See? To my discussion, I got kicked out of Three Cats' Country Club Discord for posting up a lightly suggestive video. And... He told me on stream that, you know, as long as I fixed my shit, he would let me back in. Now, I could go back in there, and I could continue on, but I would ruin the fucking epic nature in which I left originally. And I refuse to ruin that. Funniest thing you've seen in a month? Oh my god. It was the... Recky, you've seen it, I think. Did you see the Alexa thing and the um, shit posting channel? of my discord <laughs> that's what got me kicked out of three cats country club and the funniest part about it is everybody thought I made the video I, I was like man you know if I made a video like that I'd be taking credit for it Ooh, 
shit. You turkey, you gotta fucking hit off on me. Bell and book in the background. Uh, so I've got a copy of Adobe uh, Premiere now. And I'm kind of handy with graphics shit. I mean, I made Lord of the Piss. I made Lord of the Piss, and that turned out pretty well. So I'm really wanting to try my hand at some video work. And I've got some great ideas for three cats. No, what happened? Three cats, um... Three cats had a KFC biscuit that nearly killed him. Legitimately. Um... Because he gets nervous before streams, and I guess sometimes he throws up. Don't know. Either way, it caused his esophagus to shrink, and the biscuit swelled up in his throat, and he couldn't breathe. So he's got to go in for surgery. And he told everybody in stream that he was going to have a Monday stream because he couldn't stream on Wednesday. And we all showed up like a bunch of fucking idiots. Yeah, Dom, I made that. I made it, and I didn't have mod at the time, so I gave it to Sammy to post up. Hey, I appreciate that this game let me jump up and kill that guy like that. That's cool. That Lord of the Piss image though, that's like a once in a lifetime Photoshop. I'll never I'll never do anything that good again. It just so happened to work out. <laughs> Okay, where am I going? I've kind of gotten lost here. Is this where I came from? I don't think I've been down this way, have I? God damn, everything came back. Uh, which post, Recky? I probably did. Oh, I seen that you posted it, but it was right as I was going online and I didn't get to watch it. Oh, we watch a guy named Three Cats, Bill, and um, it's kind of a meme in his chat to post the word piss, especially when he's not playing the best. Anyway, I photoshopped his face onto um, some Lord of the Rings shit. He became Lord of the Piss. Yeah, Ricky, I seen that you posted the video. I didn't have a chance to um, check it out, though. Did you see that um, Xbox 360 HD version of uh, GoldenEye? I'm not like a super huge fan of GoldenEye, but it was pretty impressive that it never got released. Uh oh, what did I do? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, you posted it, Ricky? I've seen it posted in like three or four places.
Acquired emerald. I wonder if this is what goes in that socket. I don't know. Whirlwind power increased. There are specific jewels associated with each of the three artifacts of ease. With each jewel acquired, the corresponding skill becomes more powerful. Okay. Oh, with even a single jewel collected, the appropriate skill can now be charged. Additional jewels increase the rate of MP recovery and provide an overall increase in power. Okay, I want to see this fucking charge attack. Oh, wow, it takes a while. Cool. I have no idea where that's at. it down here so I'm kind of surprised that they didn't stick with the bump combat Ricky Doubt it would work for newer games. So there's this door. Wasn't there another door? Or wait, no, we came back. That's right. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh, cool. This is the same as the. Our blue moon crest. Okay, that will definitely fit in that spot. Oh, we got Pokemons. What? Strange. If you're a demon, then why don't I feel threatened by you? I actually think you're kind of adorable. Are you one of the ruse, maybe? My grandpa told me about you little guys. He said the vapors outside transformed you into demons. The demon or no, you're just too, too cute. You just bots your face off. Fucking credits roll. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I'm not really trained for this. I don't have any idea what you're saying at all. If someone from House Gemma were here... Hey, there's another name I recognize. Gemma. I think that was a book of ease. We're here. Maybe we'd be able to communicate, but I wouldn't even know where to begin. I'm sorry, I just don't understand. House Tova has a proud legacy, but I'm afraid demon linguist linguistics just aren't part of, a big part of it. Okay. <laughs> Was that its stomach? Wait, are you hungry? Is that it? I'll take that as a yes. Hmm, come to think of it, I just might have some food to give you. Give it a rota fruit. Yeah. Heart. Whoa. Is that a piece of Claria ore? Unica's axe has been strengthened. That's amazing. I never knew you guys were so talented. So I wonder if this is just jumbled up nonsense or if there's an actual way to read it if you know what the uh, the cipher is. Thank you so much. Something tells me I come back. E's origin is like seven or 800 years before the first game. It's meant to give you all the backstory and shit about the uh, the normal ease games, I guess. 
Because almost all the Ease games, the main character is that Adol guy, the red hair guy. That's why the characters are different on this one. power it helped a lot if I could hit the goddamn thing you motherfucker you hit me twice they're writing the books of ease Oh, I wonder if it is the same language as the books. Because now that you mention it, it seems like the characters look similar. Uh, similar. Is your HP regenerate? It doesn't look like your regions in this game. stand still longer maybe so here let's test nothing yet had to wait a little longer than ease one Hit you with the big one, buddy. Say, oops. Um, reduce damage from terrain. Increased stationary heal rate. So I don't have enough SP for that. So it does look like it's got some kind of stationary healing, yeah. Set the blue moon crest in the altar. Down we go. Huh? Muscular man. I think we lost him. Annoying little cunt. <laughs> How the hell can he evade us for this long? Doesn't he ever get tired? There's no way he could have gone much farther. I say we keep looking. Sorry, but I've lost what little interest I had. There's no glory in catching a sorcerer who'd run, or who'd rather run for cover than stand and fight. He's clearly not a worthy opponent. Man, you need to lighten up. It's a thrill to hunt, you know? Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're not from the search party, are you? If not, then you might want to get out of here. This tower is a pretty dangerous place to be. <laughs> is this girl for real? This is too funny. Just look at her. Look at her clothes and that dumb expression on her face. She's a total hick. I'm a what now? Identify yourself, little girl. Are you a friend of that sorcerer's? What sorcerer? I'm Unica, Unica Tova, apprentice of the Holy Knights of Ease. Unica Tova? Huh, so they've got a little shit like you working in service to the goddesses, do they? Guess they must really be hurting for help up there. Uh, okay, I told you my name. How about you return the favor? If you've been on the surface this whole time, I guess that means you missed your chance to take refuge in the shrine. Man, I heard the people of Ease were a bit on the simple side, but this is just sad. Yeah, it's no fun when they come right up to you and practically beg you to kill them. There's no sport in it, you know? Hey, maybe we should try out one of those demon familiars that Zava let us use. Suit yourself. I have no idea what's going on right now. What are you two talking about? 
capture the goddesses and kill any interlopers. Those are our orders. The goddesses? You mean Lady Urea and Lady Fina? Seriously, who the hell are you? And what are you doing here? That's enough chatter out of you, hit girl. Coming to this tower will be the last mistake you ever made. A demon? Have fun. Vagalian. Vagolian? Oh, it's this fucking prick. Oof. Hitting the wrong fucking buttons. Yow. Ow. Leave me alone. Oh, I got the boost. Oh, fucking faking me out like that. Yeah, I got baited hard there. Yeah, I need to kind of probably play it safe. Took a little bit more damage than I wanted to. Okay, was not worth it. Was not worth it. The fuck? I appreciate that they swapped the boss up a little bit. Get out of there, Brig. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Phew, I don't know how I did it, but I did it. Made it easier when they split? Yeah, a little bit, huh? But who in the world were those two? Why did why would they be hanging around with demons? Plus, why would they want to capture Lady Rhea and Lady Fina? Okay. Give me some good bronze key. Hey, the mask. I wonder if it works the same way. Magical mask allows its wearer to see hidden passages and objects, but it hides living creatures. I'll be damned, it does. Wonder if there's a quick toggle. God damn it, I used my boost. So the original game had like a fast toggle for accessories. Under the shrine with Fina in the OG. Killing these guys way faster now.
So I think towards the back towards the beginning there was a locked door, wasn't there? Search party's base. Oh, well, shit. Okay. Where was that locked door at? Man, I really wonder about using the fucking mask. I've already been through here. Let's hope oh, there's something. <laughs> okay, so... It's nice to see that you can still level up to a point where things are just hitting you for one HP. Bronze key? Yeah. Wonder where Nanner's at. Haven't seen her in like the last two or three streams. Oh, uh, this is where they want me to use this fucking mask, isn't it? Yep. I appreciate that they make it slowly disappear. when you stumble on the secret. Hey, I know you. You're Unica Tova, right? Huh? Who's there? Who are you? Ha, <laughs> calm down, just take off the mask. Unica removed the mask fires from her face. Yeah, ease one, you, one, it was just hard to see because it was black and white, but it was also, um, you didn't really see it disappear. You couldn't tell if it was normally there or not. Oh, I recognize you from the search party. The spectacled youth. Same, and let me tell you, it's a relief to find a friendly face in here. I'm Rico Gemma. Okay, so now we have another Book of E's name. Part of the Sorcerer Contingent. It's nice to meet you. Oh, okay, you must be Priest Gemma's grandson then, right? How did you wind up in a place like this? Well, when I came to, I found myself slumped in a heap right outside this tower. I figured I'd just take a peek inside, and when I did, I caught a glimpse of some people heading up the stairs. Naturally, I assumed they were part of the search party, so I followed them, but that turned out to be a bad idea. Ow. <laughs> oh no, are you hurt? Yeah, but there's no need to worry. I cast some healing magic on it, so I'm just waiting here for the wound to close. I can't really walk on this leg until it does, though. I wonder if that's a shout-out to the fucking bard that hurt his leg. Well, at least it's not incurable, I guess. And at least you have a good cover until it does heal. I'm glad that we I'm glad that we did this while it was so fresh in memory to enjoy the little little things that they threw in like that. So those people you saw, did they turn out to be a couple of thugs? Like a really muscly man and a woman with all kinds of tattoos? How did you know? I had a run in them 
I had a run in with them myself. Oh my, I'm glad you managed to get away then. When I caught up with them, they taunted me, then summoned some kind of big demon that chased me all over the tower. That's why I'm saying don't put off ES2 for too long. Oh, so you're saying beat this one and then get the ES2? Yeah, I think we'll remember. Especially if you guys are watching and can remind me of some things. Sounds like we both had similar experiences. I can't imagine how a human being would be able to exercise that kind of control over demons, though. I don't know, but one thing's for sure. We've got to watch our backs in here. Those two clearly aren't messing around. Crap, you're right. This could be really bad. Huh? What do you mean? <clears throat> Before they ran off, they were talking about trying to capture Lady Rhea and Lady Fina. What? I, I don't understand. Unica explained the situation to Rico, beginning with the information given to her by the Roto Tree. Every detail you just told me makes, more, makes me more nervous than the last. If the goddesses truly are in this tower, then someone is clearly targeting them. We have to hurry and find them before... Ah! There's still a lot I don't get, but I have to admit I have a bad feeling about pretty much all this. So far, the demons on these lower floors haven't posed much of a challenge, so I think I just need to push on a bit further. I wish I could join you, but I need to stay here and rest until my leg heals. I'd be no good in a fight as I am. There's something I think you should have, though. It might help you overcome some obstacles you'll face in here. Receive blue necklace. What did the blue necklace do? That protected you from traps, didn't it? It's a protective talisman, handed down from generation to generation in House Gemma. It has the power to weaken the pool of wicked magic, so it might help you overcome any traps our enemies have set. Ah, that does sound helpful, thanks. No, the first blue necklace you get is from the old man. And then you get the more powerful, bigger version of it from the bard that hurt his leg. I think's what happened. Take care, Unica. Remember to watch your back. Alright. Let's go equip that shit. Did that do something to my axe? Or am I smoking crack? Whoops. It did. Oh, wait. Did you not see the flames coming off my axe? What the fuck was that? How am I doing that? I am confused. I don't know. Can I go further in here? Okay. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going now. Ah, good point. I forgot about that fucking chill.
Unica spoke into the Lila shell. Aeolia's voice echoed back in response. Aeolia here, is something wrong, Unica? Unica told Aeolia that she had found Rico and received the blue necklace from him. Rico's alright? Oh, thanks goodness. That blue necklace is, is pretty powerful stuff. If you're wearing it, evil magic has less effect on you. I bet it'll work wonders in that teleport. Ah, that teleport room. That's right. Man, I'm glad this game has something like that. I don't know, this is my kind of game as far as... I, I enjoy this sort of game, but it's also laid back enough that I can stream it and still interact with chat. For real? Need to defeat the things in the corner of the room. Duh. I was thinking the red or the... Yeah, I do have it equipped. I just ran into the middle of the teleport thing. I guess originally the game kind of pulls you towards that and you can't escape it. Man, what am I doing? I'm going to head back to that fucking save. So, how do I teleport? It did say that I could teleport, right? No! Ah, okay. Great, so I can just use that fucking anywhere. Yes. Why don't more games have features like that? Dude got the fucking chase down. I need to remove one word from the filter. Uh, send it to me in a DM. Ow. All right, here we go again. Yeah. Ow. Wow, not bad, Rico. Not bad at all. Your family's awesome. Wonder who set the trap, though. Was it those two punks? I mean, they seem strong, but it was pretty sophisticated magic. There's no way either of them could be that good. 
Not that I'm one to judge, I guess. Unica? Ah, Roy. Woman's voice. Was it her, Roy? Well, it's good to see you're still in one piece. Ramona. Boy, I'm glad to see you too. I was starting to get worried. I don't think you're the one who should be worrying here. Honestly, do you have no shame at all? Well, this is fine. How do you do? Don't you dare interrupt me while I'm talking to you. You're just an apprentice. You weren't even supposed to be in the search party to begin with. You practically forced your way in. So what in the world made you think it was okay to go wandering around the demon's stronghold alone? I, I was trying to get some combat experience. I mean, I'm here, so I'd kind of like to be useful if push comes to shove. Besides, Father Superior gave me permission, so I don't know why you're on my case. I follow protocol. Combat experience, my ass. You did this because Lady Rhea and Fina are in here somewhere, and you know it. Uh, whenever those two are involved, you completely lose sight of reality. You don't think, you just act. I'll bet it never even crossed your mind that this little stunt of yours might have Commander Galleon and Ramona worried sick. An apprentice should have should behave like an apprentice, damn it, not like some blowhard pioneer. But you're just a novice yourself, and you're only one year older than me. When are you going to stop treating me like a little kid? When you stop acting like one. What was it you wrote on your enrollment form when asked why you wanted to be a knight? Because I love ladies Rhea and Fina? Shut up. All right, that's enough out of you two. I know you're practically, I know you practically grew up together, but this is neither the time nor the place for your little schoolyard quarrel. We didn't grow up together. Well, whatever the case may be, you need to consider your surroundings. We're here for a common goal and we need to work together. We'll do a better job of finding the goddesses if we can all cooperate and coordinate. Yeah, I guess you're right, sorry. Now, right as we were walking in, you were rumbling something about two punks setting a trap. Would you mind filling us in on the details? Sure. Unica explained everything that had happened since her arrival in the tower. Why would anyone else be looking for the goddesses? We could have a real situation on our hands here. You should discuss this with Father Shine at once. I'm also a bit concerned about Rico uh, Gemma. I understand he's in a safe room, but he's still injured and alone. Yeah, that's a good point. I think you and I should attend to him, Roy. As for you, Unica, I believe you've had enough training for one day. I want you to return to home base immediately. But once Rico is safe and secure, we'll be right behind you. Then we can get all our facts straight and formulate a plan of attack. Understood? Yes, ma'am. Don't get sidetracked on your way back to base. Now I mean it. All right, I get it. Totally getting sidetracked. Fuck these people. You're goddamn right. Playing around at the base of the tower sounds really tedious. Maybe I'll just explore a teensy bit further before heading back. Uh, even the game's like, fuck that shit. Did you send me that DM rec? Let me see here. Sorry, you guys, now that mutes. Ah, uh, good point, Ricky. One second. Thanks for not just saying it in chat. One moment, guys. Settings. Where's it at? Okay, we're all good now. Oh, the game won't play unless I'm focused on it. Okay. Ooh, shit, run. 
Run, run. God damn it, I hit the button on accident again. Acquired leather boots. Damn, it's quite a bit more defense. I wish it would let me turn off the fucking boost once I pop it, but... <sighs> I go and hit the wrong fucking button. I don't know. I'm about to try to take this one on, Rick. Yeah, you can kill him. Yeah, kinda, huh? Uh oh. Ouch. He caught me. Oh, you bitch. So it seems like I'm getting healed up by little things that I pick up that drop off these enemies, huh? So did I miss anything this direction? Mm, just more stairs, huh? I bet that's on the other side, huh? some good experience and shit here. Eat a dick, cunt. What's in here? I wonder if this entire game is in the tower. I mean, I wouldn't be opposed to that, really, as long as it's good content. Man. Well, 
Well, that looks like a boss door or something. Save. Let's see if there's anything I can get now. Whoops. Strengthen current leggings. The door on the right on a previous floor. Yeah, I think that was the door that I opened with the switch. I went to that door on the right to come up here, I think. What did that say? Oh, was it? Maybe I missed it. Increase heal rate on outer walkways. Oh, so this allows me to heal on the out outside. I gotcha. Kind of like the original game. See, now it's back. My axe is on fire. I also have strength additional 1.5. Oh, that was that strength effect. Is that from talking to the goddess statue? Was it in here, Recky? Oh, could I go further to the right? Ah, fucking good call. Oh, it's the prison. Watch this lock me in. Beast medallion. What the heck is this? Gives me the creeps, but it looks like it's part of a larger relief, so maybe it's some kind of key. Oh, fuck. Damn, I didn't realize I could just keep spamming it. It's kind of nice. Yeah, so I got like an additional strength there. Maybe you start chaining enemies together and get bonuses for it. If so, that's pretty fucking cool. God, what game was it where chains were like incredibly important? I think it was, uh, was it Star Ocean 3 where you had to keep your chain up to do damage? Like got to the point where if you drop chain, you fucking couldn't damage them at all. Something like that. Yeah, I think it was Star Ocean. Use the beast medallion. Damn it, Ricky, I would have had to go back anyway. Too spooky. The beast chamber. Seems I've caught a lucky break. No demons, no crazy interlopers, just a whole lot of empty space. Good place to set up camp, I'd say. All this fighting's been really wearing me out. I could use a breather. Holy shit. Holy crap. Is that one of those huge demons that attacked ease? What do I do? I'll never be able to beat this thing. No, scratch that. I will beat it. I have to. Lady Rhea, Lady Fina, please grant me your blessings. And Dab, please give me the strength to do this. A 
Okay, ow. God damn it. No shit. Cool. <laughs> oh shit. So it looks like every time I do that, I'm going to knock off 25%, huh? Just like the original game, I can't fucking open my menu either. God damn it, man. Get out of this fucking mountain. Well, we got ourselves a boss, boys. I gotta get my buttons right. So that green shit they're putting on the ground makes me walk funny. God damn it, man. Ooh, that was kind of risky. <laughs>
Seriously? So he's fucking, he's definitely healing up when he eats those things. So I should probably just be bursting through those to kill the bugs while I'm there. Oh shit. God damn, get up on him. God, I was so close. Man, I got so ro fucking robbed there, man. That pisses me off. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, I forgot about that damn focus thing that I've got. Making me slip slide around. God damn it. Good boss. Good boss. I feel like that was a fair boss. I was not beating him because I fucking suck and was not playing well. Focus increases region rate for special. 
Huff, puff. How the hell did I survive that? That was intense. Or cuts the cost of it. Save again, make sure. All right, guys, that's right at two hours. I'm gonna call it there. Um, I'm happy. This seems like it's gonna be as good as the um, the Ease One that we we're playing, if not a lot better, just because it's more up to date and a little bit more complex. You know, that boss felt awesome. Um, had a little bit of learning to it, but once you kind of figure out and play well, you do pretty damn good at it. Um, I feel like that shows it's gonna be a good game. Yeah, I'm out, Dom. <laughs> anyway, thanks, you guys. We'll be back on tomorrow night at... Uh